In this video, we're going to be using the Club Low Scent Skeletor and the Tetalus Razor for the first time. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And we have a lot to get to today because we're going to be testing out Low Scent Skeletor for the first time. We're going to be testing out the Tetalus Razor here. We'll talk a lot more about this as we go, but let's first talk a little bit about the soap because we're not going to talk a ton about this today. This is just a tester. This is not the retail version yet. The scent isn't um, finalized. This is Low Scent Skeletor Gets All the Babes, and that is Nate from BBS Live. Or, excuse me. This is Nate, also known as Low Scent Skeletor from BBS Live, and this is Mel from uh, BBS Live, and this soap is sort of to honor those two uh, fine gents, and it's done in good humor because Junior, the dude of shaving, used to call Nate here Skeletor. And then there was a poll in the um, in the Shaving Shop Club group about scent strength. Should we increase scent? Should we lower scent? And Nate here uh, voted to decrease scent, and no one ever does that. And so after, at that point, we started calling him Low Scent Skeletor. And uh, Pete made this fun label, and then a couple of people added to it. And here we have it, Low Scent Skeletor gets all the babe. So this is just a fun soap. This was dropped in my last order um, by Pete. Uh, and so we're just testing it out today. But the final scent will be up to Nate and Mel. So when they sign off, this will with, this will uh, go on sale. And it's really to honor these two guys for BBS Live, who are great guys. And their show is coming up this week on Thursday. So make sure you check that out. Okay, let's get to the razor. This is the, es the Essence Razor by Tetalus. This is designed in uh, Switzerland. This is a very expensive razor. Retails for 346 US dollars. Now, before I get too far, I want to mention this razor was sent to me uh, for evaluation by Tetalus. They reached out to me, asked if I wanted to try it, where I'd be willing to try it. I said, sure, as long as I can speak openly and honestly about it. And we will be doing that today because it's not all a bed of roses from my perspective. First of all, that cost 346 that's a lot of scratch, 346 US dollars. Um, it is a very, very handsome uh, Shavette style razor. It's probably the best looking Shavette style razor that I've ever seen. The design on it is really nice. By the way, the materials, this is 17.4 pH stainless steel, and I'm not sure what that is, to be honest with you. Uh, the scales are anodized aluminum, so that's not plastic, that's aluminum. Stainless steel up on top. The the blades that this Shavette style razor takes, uh, Artist Club blades, half double-edged razor blades, and injector blades. It comes with a 10-year warranty. From my perspective, at this cost, it should come with a lifetime warranty. I'm just being honest here. Um, it's a lot of money for just a 10-year warranty. It's designed in Switzerland, but when I saw the bottom here, it says uh, made in China. So some people are gonna say, mm, at that price, made in China, it, you know, they're going to obviously balk at the cost because this is a very expensive Shavette. Let's show you the way it comes in terms of packaging. It does come in nice packaging. It comes in a coffin box that slides out. There's a nice little pull tab here. And that right there, it says our mission is to combine form and function uh, in the art of shaving to transform your grooming routine into an empowering ritual. And you pull that little pull tab and there's a nice foam insert. So it does come well packaged from Tetalus and it is a good looking razor. This box, whoops, <laughs> just shot out of there on me, comes in this box right here with its instructions. It's got a very interesting loading mechanism and I'll show you that. I'm sorry for bumping the camera here. Um, just trying to make room. The loading on this razor, I'll show it to you. Right now I have a Feather Artist Club blade in it and let me pull that off. It uses magnets to actually hold it together. And what you do is, and I'll, uh, I'll link a video below uh, loading it. You sort of position the blade in like that. And I can't show you this on camera because if I try to, it will be difficult to uh, get it lined up. So anyway, what you do is you hold the bottom of the blade like that and you sort of snap it together and then slide it up like so. And there's some, there's some slots on the inside or the underside and it, uh, it holds it together and you just want to make sure it's together. And those magnets are very, very sharp. In fact, they're so sharp if you don't watch your fingers, it'll pinch your fingers. So these are very sharp and it's holding that blade in there very securely. Excellent jimping on this razor. Probably the best jimping that I've ever seen uh, on a razor. I'm gonna show you a couple of uh, shots there of the jimping on the bottom and on the top. It is very, very grippy due to that jimping. So that's an excellent 
job there. We'll show you the finish, which is sort of a brushed finish. And that brush finish is not perfect. You'll see an errant mark that's not sort of going in the grain of the uh, brush finish every now and then. So the, the fit and finish is good on this razor. It is not perfection. It probably should be for $346 uh, US, to be honest with you. Because like I said, that brush finish is not perfect. You'll see some errant lines in it where it's not going with the grain. So on a brush finish, you want all the marks to sort of be uniform and symmetrical. And you can see some stray marks here and there uh, on this razor. But overall, in terms of holding it, it is really, really nicely balanced. It does has a, have a thumb screw there where you can tighten it up and so on. Jimping, excellent. Uh, the look of this razor is excellent. The aluminum doesn't make it too heavy. And so we look forward to using it today. And I know this video is going to go a little bit longer because I just had to give you the details of this razor. For me, I, I can tell you right now before even using it, the question we always seek to ask when we use any sort of evaluation of product is, would I buy it with my own money? For me, no. It doesn't fit my use case because I'm not a high-end custom razor kind of guy. But if you're the kind of guy that likes to buy a Max Sprecher or something that's very high-end and something that's going to look great in the shave of the day photo. So let's say you're someone who really likes to do shave of the day photos and you want a shavette style razor that looks awesome. This might be it. It's got a really long monkey tail. And again, that jimping is, is fantastic. Overall, it's well built but very, very expensive. But we're gonna use it today and see how it shaves, and I expect it to shave great. So let's get into the shave today. We're gonna to miss the face right here. We have about 24 hours growth, which is, which is standard. The blade in here is Feather Professional. Here is our hydrated lather with low scent Skeletor. And you know that's gonna be good stuff. The brush for today, I forgot to mention, is the uh, Dark Sanctum Ronin X 3D printed, which is very nice. All right, let's get into it here and get some of this lather on the face. and. Let's get going today and see how the Tetalus performs. Again, this razor is designed in Switzerland, which is where it ships from, but made in China. So please keep that in mind. And I think we've covered all the bases today with the razor. Again, you know, when I'm sent anything for evaluation, I will always call it like I see it. And this razor at its price is probably a little more than I would pay personally. But I think there are people... Um, within the hobbyist side of things who really like, you know, just high-end stuff. And this is the best looking shave that style razor that I have ever seen. And it has the best jimping on any straight type razor that I've ever felt personally. So there, there's some pluses, but um, there's also a few things that I think could be improved. I would extend that warranty. I think that would be at the price, you know, just 10 years. I don't know what that says about, <laughs> you know, their thoughts about the, longevity of the razor, but um, I would extend that at its price. And uh, that the finish could be better, in my opinion, on that brush finish, because it's not it's not perfect. But I'm pretty sure we're gonna have an excellent shave if I do my job. It's really all up to me. Um, do, do I uh, keep a light touch? Do I do things properly? Because this magnet in here is very, very strong. I don't think it's going to come apart on you or, or anything like that. And so I would not be worried about that. Or at least let's say I'm not worried about it. So let's put it that way. Okay, let's draw off our hands. That is absolutely essential. And uh, let's get our few strokes in with the Tetalus, which is really a fantastic looking razor. There's no question about that. Very nice, very smooth. I don't expect any problems whatsoever. Not much feedback there because that blade is really tightly in there. Feels nice. That's very, very smooth. The way it holds the blade in there, um, really, really smooth. It's gonna feel something like a, a Feather uh, DX, if you're familiar with that. The Feather DX, made in Japan, usually you can get around 170 to $200, somewhere thereabouts. This one, you know, 346, so it's pricier. I do like the design of this one. I like the way it looks. I like the way it feels. The scales are, are aluminum, probably a little bit more durable. The jimping is phenomenal. They've done a terrific job with the jimping, and that feels nice. Very, very nice and smooth. Feels good in the hand, well balanced, so they've done a great job on that. 
really, I think this is, this is one of those razors that is designed for people who just really want that high end look and feel and so on and so forth. If you just want to shave at, if you're just looking for your first shave at or something like that, and you just, you're just getting into the, the hobby or just starting out, this one might not be for you. But if you're one of those high end guys that likes to take those shave of the days and stuff like that, it may be, you know, that's always up to you. But it does shave well. It does feel great in the hand and it needs to at its price. I mean, cause it's, it's, it's very pricey. There's no way, you can't really talk about this razor without discussing price in my opinion, you have to. I'd be doing a disservice to everybody if we didn't mention that aspect of it. However, this is not a razor that's probably intended for folks who, you know, don't want to uh, to spend that kind of money or have that sort of sense of luxury. You know, um, it is a good shaver. That much is short. That much is for sure. And it does. Um, it does. It does feel very well balanced. It feels nice in the hands and all that kind of stuff. So something to consider. I don't know how many of these have uh, have sold thus far. I've seen a few people with them. I don't know what their thoughts are on the razor yet. Um, but it's a looker, I'll tell you that. <laughs> so the first pass there was uh, quite nice as I expected. I don't think there'll be any problems with this on the on the uh, shaving front. I think the the key hurdle in this one is, hey, do you think that three three hundred forty six dollars is worth it for you, and only you can make that decision. It's really up to you. You have to decide, and there'll there'll be a lot of people on the that will comment on this video and will go, it's not worth it for me. That's it's that's entirely okay. But I would encourage you to make sure that when you're giving that feedback. That's for you, you know. Uh, no one should be declaring that any price for anything is is too much across the board for a piece of hardware. For software, I think it's a little bit different because software is um, something that won't last forever. It's somewhat perishable. This straight razor should, if you take care of it, should last a lifetime. Although again, it only has that 10 year warranty, so you know, that one to me is a little bit puzzle, puzzling. But again, I really don't know what it costs to design and make one of these razors. So you have to understand that they might have been through years of prototypes or there's no telling how many versions of this it took. And I'm sure the razor maker will sort of comment below if they have any thoughts on any of the questions that I'm raising during this video. And at some point we will we'll make a video and sit down and show you the loading of this razor up close. And, you know, give you some additional photos maybe and, and so on and so forth. It won't be today because today's just about using the razor and giving you the basics of the razor. Um, it is nice. Wow, we and boy, this, uh, this Argon and Evans is great stuff. You know this. The scent on this, by the way, is it's an unusual scent for me. It's got a cucumber vibe. It also comes off as herbal. It's not what you would think, um, Typically people think, when you think cucumber, very, very sweet like a candle. This is not that. This is a more herbal version of it. I like it, but honestly, I prefer that sweet cucumber myself. But really it's up to Nate and Mel on this one. It's not It's not my place to to guide them on the scent. They should make the type of scent uh, that they like. And of course, if it's up to Nate, it'll be a way lower scented than it is right now because it's pretty stout. So, you know, I'm afraid Nate might not get along with this one on the scent because it's very stout. And he is low scent Skeletor, so you have to keep that in mind. All right. Very nice. Just a little, little bit of feedback. This holds the razor in pretty tight, so you're not going to get a lot of feedback, so don't expect it. Feels good in the hand. The jimping is terrific. I don't believe, I don't believe this one is going to slip. You know, it's, it's terrific. So let's go ahead and announce the winner, which I wrote down somewhere, of the of the uh, Southern Witchcraft Gatorm Tonstrina set, which was uh, sent to us by the Razor Company. So thank you, Razor Company. And that winner, we'll put it on the screen there, is, who is that? John Meyer. So congratulations, John. Send me an email, send me an email to cdb at 
I am cdb.com. I can't even say my own email address. That's terrible. Send me an email to cdb at imcdb.com, John, and I will get that to you, my friends. So congratulations. There will be a new giveaway announcement tomorrow, so make sure you come back then. We like to try to keep one going if we can. This is a good shaver, I'll tell you right now. In terms of just the mechanics of the shave and holding that blade in there and being feeling nice, it is a good shaver. It is a good looking shaver as well. Like I said before, this is, um, as far as I'm concerned, probably the best shavette uh, the best looking Shavette style razor that I've ever seen, if that means anything to you. Some people don't care, you know, how it looks, but, uh, this is a good looking razor. And so from that perspective, very nice indeed. And it definitely shaves well, but we would expect that. If it didn't, didn't shave well, I would be raising all kinds of cane because <laughs> Like I said before, it must shave well at its price. How does it feel relative to a feather? I can't tell you. It's been a while since I've used my feather. Um, but it certainly feels, it uh, it feels nice in the hand. It's got, it's got good weight without being cumbersome. So don't think this is super heavy because it's not. It feels nice. It feels nimble. And it's sort of, what I think what they've tried to do is sort of give you a custom straight razor experience in a Chevette type razor. So maybe this is for people who would ordinarily buy a custom straight razor, but they don't actually want the maintenance that comes with a straight razor. They want something that just looks like one, and that would be this. So that might be the market for this razor. And I would encourage you that, you know, if, if someone does use uh, any sort of razor, whether they're using a Wolfman double-edged razor, which is very expensive, or, or this razor, to, you know, if you don't think it's worth the price, you're entitled to that, but make sure you're not ruining the experience of that person who, who bought that razor and is enjoying it. Try not to be a, you know, wet blanket on someone else's enjoyment. It is a good shaver. Um, I'm enjoying the shave for sure on this baby. And I think we can stop right there, honestly. Let's see. We could probably do a little touch up there on the neck, but I'll just, I'll do that really quick off cam so we don't have a super long video. Um, we'll be back for the post, stay tuned. And all right, we are back in off cam. We did a warm water rinse to remove the soap and then we followed it with alum, no stinging. So that was a super smooth shave. We followed the alum with a cold water rinse and then toweled off with our Lancaster towel prior to applying the Thayer's. This is um, cucumber. Watermelon, magic, because it's made by witches. And had, I had an excellent shave today with low sense Calatory gets all the babes by the club. Again, this is just test. This is not the retail version. Personally, I wish the scent was more sweeter, like a sort of cucumber candle, but it's really up to Nate and Mel and what they think. This is a clean, green, herbal type scent to me. Quite stout, um, really, really nice. I did enjoy it. The soap quality, top rate, you just can't beat it. The Tetalus Razor provided for an excellent smooth shave. It is a good shaver. It is probably the best looking Shavette style razor that I've ever seen. It is well built. Fit and finish not perfect. Would I spend 346, uh, 346 US dollars for this with my money? No. I'm not in the market for a really high-end Shavette to spend that kind of money. But for those of you who are like high-end custom straight razor kind of guys, maybe you want a Shavette that, that has that appearance. Uh, this might be for you. It is a good shaver, um, and those magnets hold that blade in there very securely. Um, it is very nice. There's, there's definitely no doubt about that, but ultimately, you have to decide, so it's up to you whether you think the, the value is there. I'm going to finish it off today with the Club Tobacco Nuit, which is an old school one, and we're going to be off to the races and having a great day. I thank you all for joining me today. This has been a fantastic shave. I really enjoyed it, and until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do your way, and as always, God bless.